The countdown is on to the first test flight for NASA's new moon program. That's right. On Monday, the space agency will launch its first lunar mission in nearly 50 years. The unpiloted mission, called Artemis 1, will lift off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The rocket, with no crew, will travel around the moon and back. It's part of the Artemis program, which aims to send humans back to the moon and eventually to Mars. CBS News national correspondent Mark Strassman got a chance to sit down with the lead flight director to discuss the big day. Well, we got to have a successful flight before we put the astronauts on the next mission. Otherwise, you're not putting astronauts on the next mission. You can practice all you want to go to the moon, but the launch is game time. It's going to be very different. And, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you hear the pucker factor. It'll be there. <laughs> and joining <laughs> us for more on this is CBS News senior national correspondent Mark Strassman. Hi there, Mark. Um, really great to talk to you. Very excited. Um, I imagine, though, uh, there's probably uh, not much sleep happening for Rick Lebron, the gentleman that we just heard you <laughs> speaking with these days, at least not in this countdown window. No, I, I can't imagine there is land. I mean, the, the, you heard him talk about the pucker factor. I mean, it, listen, there's, there's a lot on the line here, clearly. I mean, there really is. I mean, this, this is a project that's been years in the making. It's, it's, it's years also behind schedule and billions over budget. And, and, but the bottom line is, at this point is this. This launch has to go well if NASA is to have any hope of putting people on board for another test flight and then two, two uh, uh, launches down the road to put uh, four astronauts into space and, and put a couple of them on the moon. It just has to go well. And there's just so much on the line. And so if LeBrode has, is having sleepless nights, he, he's not the only one, believe me. Mark, is there anything else you can tell, any, any details we might see on Monday about the Artemis and the launch? Well, if it, when it launches, when it launches, <laughs> whenever that is, Monday morning, we hope, um, it's going to be spectacular. I mean, this is, this is the most powerful rocket that NASA has ever built. Nearly 9 million pounds of thrust. I mean, this, this rocket is, is a monster in both in size and in power. On top of it, there is the Orion capsule. Uh, this uh, capsule can seat four astronauts, but this flight, remember, will be uncrewed. It will only have mannequins inside that have sensors recording data for this particular test flight. And then just for, for all of these folks who have been working so hard to make this uh, launch a reality, I mean, this is also their... It, it, no one in this group has ever worked on a moon launch that's as ambitious as this one, a moon launch that would actually involve people one day. And so this is a chance for all of them to, to get used to all this, too. They've, you know, many of these people have launched um, space shuttle flights or they've launched or they've been involved with the ISS, the International Space Station. But nobody has been involved with a project this ambitious. And so for this entire space agency, this is really a, a prove it moment. I mean, remember this, that there's a saying that that space is the ultimate team sport. OK, well, at some point, you got to stop practicing and, and, and play the game to see what you got. And for NASA, this is that moment. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, you pretty much answered my next question, which is what is at stake with this mission? But you talk about the sheer power, um, you know, reading through our CBS News write-up um, from uh, Bill Harwood, um, talking about this rocket going from, um, from zero to 100 miles per hour in seven seconds is really almost incomprehensible yeah. to me, Mark. Um, but, you know, I, I know that you and your producer, Miles Doran, also had a chance to talk to um, some female astronauts who are obviously looking at this particular mission and this project um, with a sense that this has been a long time coming. Um, can you talk about that aspect of this mission? Sure. I mean, let's think back to if you've seen the movie The Right Stuff or you remember yeah. the Apollo, if you're old enough to remember the Apollo launches. I mean, let's let's face it, this group of astronauts, right? They're all white dudes. They're all white dudes. <laughs> That's all they were, right? right. And and in this and in this generation of, of Artemis, I mean, you have you have an astronaut group that represents the diversity of America. And and, and that is a profound difference. I mean, in the old in the old uh, uh, even in, in these control rooms here, there, there, there were almost no women involved. And now the launch director on Monday will be a woman. I mean, mm -hmm. it is a completely different country. It is a completely different era uh, for NASA, too. It, it's just, I mean, so much has changed since Apollo. Not only, uh, the t and it's not just the technology, but it's just the way we approach life is so much different. And now the way that NASA will approach the moon will reflect those differences that we all experience every day.
And one last big question mark. When might we see Mark Strassman <laughs> launching off to the moon or to Mars? <laughs> Well, you know, uh, I, I, you know, Gail King asked me that uh, question one time, and, 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 and I think my response was, you know, if, if, if she's buying, I'm flying. Okay, so, um, I, you know, I'd, uh, you know I, I would love to go up. I think it would be, uh, you know, I think it would be a remarkable experience. But, you know, at least I know on Monday I'll be right here uh, watching what's going on behind me. And, and we'll, we'll be, be watching, watching with you. you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Always so fun to see you, Mark. Thank you. The launch of Artemis 1 is scheduled for Monday morning. CBS News will bring it to you in a special report. There's